Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Ozlander's break, son. It has been a long, hot minute, y'all. Thanks for coming through and making this thing happen. We filled the majority of this on the Facebook group. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, please do. All the links are down below on breakers.tv backslash Ozlander79. We're also on Instagram, Twitter. We have a Facebook business page as well. And I do send out an email when we go live, usually. If you're not a part of the email list and want to be a part of it, let me know. Let's go ahead and go into screen share mode here. Screen share mode activated, son. We'll go over our teams and participants. We got the randomizer ready to go. We have K Nelly83, GI Budman, Zoltono, M49 Shift, Nighthawk, and this has been changed to SPA NASCAR. Couldn't get a hold of Maria. Just run the draft. So good luck, Kevin, Steve, Brennan, Mark, David, and Steve. Thanks, David and Steve, for helping fill this thing. Thanks for JT for giving them a shout out, telling us, telling about what we had going on tonight. Anything but a two on the randomizer. If it's a two, we'll re-roll. Always three and up on the randoms. This is a snake draft, so whoever ends up sixth will draft seventh. Whoever ends up fifth will draft eighth, and so on. And it will just flip back after twelve. We are going eight times. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see we've gone seven times, eighth and final time. Congrats, Steve. You got first pick. SP NASCAR Steve, GI Budman Steve got second pick. Third pick goes to K Nelly83, Kevin. Fourth pick goes to David Nighthawk. Fifth pick goes to Brennan, our friend in Belgium. And coming in at six is M49 Shift Mark. Last I heard, Mark was still having dinner with family. So I may possibly have to draft by him or we'll draft by committee. What we think is the best hit still remaining when it gets to his spot if he's not here. Let's see, SP NASCAR, GI Budman, K Nelly 3, Nighthawk, Zoltano. I'll keep track of the draft here, guys, so y'all don't necessarily have to keep a list for whose pick it is. I'll help y'all out with that on my end. And as y'all pick, I'll be putting your name on the hits. I'm going to attempt to get these out tomorrow. If not, they'll for sure go out Monday. Just for the sake of having a saved document, not only in paper, but on the computer, we'll go ahead and put the draft order over here, too. A little rusty, guys. It's been a while. get the ripper on this thing. I haven't even broke it out of the uh, inner case yet, or the outer case, rather, that was shipped in. From what I've seen of this stuff, it has been awesome. Good luck, everybody. Only 250 cases made. I do have our first 2019 Elite football case in the store as a random divisional, 209 of division. You guys want to go ahead and get a jump on that as soon as it feels and we get it in Monday we can get to breaking, or excuse me, get it in Wednesday. I do have a couple more cases coming besides that one as well. I know you guys are used to traditional picker team breaks in here. 
usually with these early season releases, it's a little tougher. It's take a little longer to feel before people start knowing the rookie class and everything. Elite is the first all NFL uniform for the rookies. Lots of stuff coming out. Just added a few to the list today. Majestic is going to be all NFL uniforms this year. I know me and my boy Jonathan there, aka JT, aka No Weight Breaks. Like that product quite a bit. I think that'll make that even that much better. If you're ever wondering what we're going to have in next and when it's coming out, I always keep an up to date list on the Facebook group. Pinned at the top of the page. Here you go. At random.org, son. Let's see the first box of 2019 Ultimate Sports by Leaf. Good luck again, everybody. Now, I kind of expect this stuff to be like Trinity and come in its own top loader. But I saw, as I saw Jonathan break a few today, JT. But they do not. Some of these cards are probably going to be coming in slider boxes because they're so thick. Most of them will be top loaded. Let's see, looks like they're going this way. Let's see what we got. First up is a quad relic. We have a Ricky Henderson. This is a records parallel. Ricky Henderson with the career stolen bases record. Career rushing yards, Emmett Smith. Two color jersey on that one. Bat relic on the Ricky. Three color career assist record holder, John Stockton and Martin Broder. Career wins in hockey. That is numbered three of three. That's a little better lighting there. These are all game used. That's pretty cool. Next up, our first autograph. Triumph insert. Five of 12, Cal Ripken Jr. World Series champion. Pretty sharp looking cardstock on that one. And the other hit in the first box is Gordy Howe, Joe Namath, Mickey Mantle with a pinstripe, and Arnold Palmer, Pioneers. Wow. Five of five. That Mantle with the pinstripe is sick. Once again, everything game used. I believe everything in this stuff is. That metal pinstripe, son. A printing plate one of one coming off the back. First up, we have a Jack Nicholas 12 of 20 Pioneers. Right behind that. Ultimate Combos, Tom Brady and Randy Moss. We got a one-color jersey for Brady, a three-color patch for Brady, and a two-color patch for Brady, and then one-color, two-color, two-color for Randy Moss. Four of 25. Game used. And, boo! Oslanders break, son. Jack was trying to hear it earlier. Jack or Chuck or both. We'll, we'll give Messi one. Messi one of one. Black printing plate. Pretty clean for a printing plate. It does have a little piece of metal sticking off the one corner there. Lionel Messi. That actually came right off. 
ready to sit there. JT, I haven't seen anything that wasn't game worn. Wasn't that one of the selling points? This stuff's all game worn, I believe. Pretty sure it is. Looks like we got another 101. Wow. Shaq, one of one printing plate. That's the cyan plate. Lionel Messi, one of one in the last box. Shaquille O'Neal, one of one in the next. Crazy. Right behind that, another cool one. Kobe Bryant, two color, two color, and two color, and Shaquille O'Neal, one color, three color, and two color. Looks like we got Lakers, Heat, I think, and Magic jerseys all on the shack. 21 of 25 on that one. That one does have a little bit of a rub spot there by his head. It's nothing because just a little discoloration there on the card. Also got a little bronze spot right there. And the last one in this box. Pioneers, one of three. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. Jack Nicholas, Ted Williams, and Pele. <laughs> all right, all game used. Muhammad Ali, Jack Nicholas, Ted Williams, and Pele. All righty then. On to number four. Hopefully I'm not moving too slow for you guys. I'm kind of savoring this to be honest. It's nice to be back and breaking something hanging out. Let's see, we got ink right on top of this one. That is going to be Mr. Jim Palmer on a little thicker stock there. One of three. Nice auto. Jim Palmer. Right behind that, we have a quad. Arthur Ashe, Willie Mays, Willie O'Ree, and Jim Brown. That is three of 20. Game one. And here's a style we haven't seen yet. Relics three. Jumbo jersey swatch there. Three color of Jason Kidd. Three color of Tim Hardaway. And four color of John Stockton. Two of four. I think I hadn't, hadn't lined a break in like two months plus. And we filled this just on the Facebook group as a 10 spotter in about three and a half, four hours, 11 days ago. But people didn't go ahead and pay, which I kind of told them that was cool because it actually got pushed back a week, I found out the next day. So even though people didn't really even realize what it was, just by me telling them there was only 250 cases made, I think they kind of had an idea. This stuff is crazy. Uh, Jonathan there will have some more cases Monday. He said, I wish I had some more coming myself. 
uh, one color, one, uh, two, three color laundry tag, two color, two color, one color, one color. Troy Aikman and Michael Irving, 22 of 25. Got the laundry tag on the Irving. Game used. I don't think we have any Cowboys fans in this one, unless David or Steve are. Next up. Oh, Pete will sign anything. Auto memorabilia, 17 of 25. Pete Rose, three-color patch autograph. That might be the weakest card we've seen so far. I don't know. It depends on if you're a Pete Rose or Reds fan, I guess. He has signed so much. You hardly ever see much of him with a patch, especially not game used. That one is game used. And how about a third one one for the case? Thurman Munson, Yogi Berra, two color Carlton Fisk, Mike Piazza, Pudge, Ivan Rodriguez, and Johnny Bench. Memorabilia six. The patch autos do a lot better. Dave's a Cowboys fan. That was a pretty cool one for a Cowboys fan, that last one. Or before the Pete Rose, rather. That one's pretty cool there. I think it should add a little bit of relics on it for a 101. It's got a little minor ding in the bottom left corner. On the back. Dual auto coming. Next up, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Three color patch, two color, looks like part of the nameplate, and one color, and one color, one color, one color. 17 of 25. Magic Johnson there looking all crazy. And it is game use. About another eight way. Steve Garvey, Eric Karos, Ron Say, I'm not, that's the first name I've seen, I didn't recognize. Mike Scosa, uh, Fernando Venezuela, Mike Piazza, Duke Snyder, and Hideo Nomo. All one color, the Duke Snyder showing its age there. Franchise, the Dodgers. And Purple Parallel, Dual Signatures, 3 of 4, Chuck Liddell and Randy Coulter. That's one I remember seeing on the checklist. Good looking card there. Liddell and Coulter. Next up, we got another eight-way memorabilia. Five of five, Reggie Jackson, three color, one color, two color, three color, bat, three color, one color, and bat. That's a pretty wild one. All game use. Wow. Bat, one color jersey, bat and one color jersey, 10 of 25 signature relics, Jose Canseco. And what is our fourth one of one? Check this out, guys. The exceptional ones, laundry tag, one of one, jumbo swatch, Ryan Sandberg. I have to give that one a little... Ooh, 
Outlanders break, son. <clears throat> Game one. Ryan Sandberg. I really like the background on that one. That one looks super cool, even if it wasn't going to one. The whole style of that one is very cool looking. Exceptional ones. That was four one on one, right? I think we still got at least one more one on one coming. I'm gonna call. I think we'll have five. Autograph 11 of 20, 1975 Super Bowl champion Jack Ham. Triumph autograph. Pretty cool. Next up, quad jersey, Kobe Bryant, Julius Irvin, LeBron James, and Michael Jordan. 2008, 9 MVP, 2009 Enshrined. 23 of 25. Little Jordan game used action. Pretty wild. And eight-way memorabilia, Emmett Smith, Michael Irving, Bob Lilly, Tony Dorsett, Troy Eggman, Ed Too Tall Jones, Bob Hayes Old School, and Drew Pearson. And JT said Dave's a Cowboys fan. That one's 12 of 15. The Messi and Shaq 101s are pretty big. Granted, a little less oomph since they were printing plates. Then the Sandberg, the other multi patch 101 isn't as big in my opinion. There's uh printing plates, so either one of those have been the true 101, those have been really huge. I still think we got another good one coming too. Next up we're gonna have a six relic. Six way relic. That's going to be a Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison. One color, two color, two color of Peyton and all one colors of Marvin. 17 of 25. Game use. And we have an eight way. Carlton Fisk, George Scott, Pedro Martinez, Johnny Damon, Jim Rice, David Ortiz, Roger Clemens, and Dustin Peoria. 11 of 25. I don't know if we got any Red Sox fans or not. And 3 of 9. Jersey autograph of Mr. Troy Aikman. Game used. And last box. I didn't have any idea what size top loaders these would be. Some of them look too thick when I was watching two top loaders, but most of them are, I believe all that we've gotten are going to be top loaders. These sliders. Let me see if I can top load them as we're uh, doing the graft. Last box. Good luck, everybody. About one of only two, four one color, five one colors, and three two colors of Scotty Pippen. Only two of Mr. Pippen on that one. Game used. Got another one of the jumbo three ways. That is Vladimir Guerrero. One color with stitching. And some nice patches of Carlos Delgado. Three color, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five color Raphael Palmero. That is number two of five. Kind of a wild one there. And last card of the break. Mr. Mike Tyson, Triumph Autograph, five of five. One of 
168 and that's an odd size for me if they took a 168 that means they'll probably have to go in 180s with tape on the top I don't have a 168 you know I have about everything that you can think of I don't carry no 168 though I do ultra pro and cardboard gold let me see right quick see how quick I can just top of them as I can well I do have 140s so I thought that immediately when you said 130s were too tight I'm going to try the 140s right quick no it's going to be too tight too. it'll have to be 180s oh yeah 180s will be fine So I'm going to recap them all again. I'm going to have just barely enough because 180s aren't used very much. Got just enough here. Probably about eight or so left over to top of everything probably. So as always your stuff will come in team bags great card sleeves rather but I'll probably also for extra protection put painters tape on top of the top loaders just because these are going to be a little looser since these are oddball size this is what they this is what they'll look like in a 180 fit pretty good if you were to turn it upside down, it will slowly slide out. So just for double protection, I'll put a little piece of painter's tape at the top so it won't leave any residue if you want to take it off. I'll we'll put it in a sleeve too. So we had the Tyson 5 of 5. We had the triple there. Okay, Brennan, I'm watching both chats, buddy, so... You can call either on YouTube or Breakers. SP NASCAR, buddy, if you're ready to go ahead, you can go with it. I don't want to hold us up by, like, recapping everything, but I figured since I was going to top load them anyways. I should have grabbed the top loaders after the first box. But SP NASCAR is first Steve and then GI Budman Steve. All right, SP NASCAR is going to take the messy one of one. And GI Bub and Steve, if you're ready, you can go right ahead too. If you already know, if you need a recap, that's no problem. Grab some 35 points for those. Actually pretty thick and put those in 75s. For safety's sake, I'll probably just go ahead and tape the top of everything. Steve, G.I. Budman, let me know, buddy, if you need me to recap anything. If you are up next, so far, just the messy 101 gone. There's the Shack 101. JT, that I know you get from a different company that I've never bought any top loaders from. 168 is probably about perfect for these. That's one thing I always nitpick about. I get something from another breaker and a lot of times I'll get them in a totally wrong size top loader. I try to keep about every size that you can think of in stock. Oh, is it BCW? I thought it was another. All right, GI Budman Steve is going to take the dual MMA card. Thank you, Steve. After Steve is going to be K Nelly eighty three Kevin. Let me 
track down the there it is so the Liddell and Couture are going to GI Butner Shaq 101 to K Nelly 83 there's the dual let's see the Shaq 101 is right here All right, Nighthawk. Dave is up next. Dave, I know you're watching over on YouTube. If you need me to uh, recap anything, just let me know. I'm trying to speed through right quick and top load them all. After Nighthawk is Zoltono and then Mark. M49 shift, if you're here, let, let it be known, bud. You're still a couple picks away. Mark said if he couldn't make it, he'd like for us to just draft for him by price point. We'll give it a shot. I know Dave said he had me on silent earlier so maybe I need to type in on YouTube but it's his turn Got Nighthawk, then Zoltono, and an M49 shift. I just let him know it was his pick just in case he's not listening. Get these a little better organized for our recapping. Hopefully we didn't put him to sleep. Oh, you're good, David. The uh, first pick, the first pick was the Lionel Messi. Steve got SP NASCAR. The second pick, yeah, Butman Steve picked up Liddell and Couture to four. And the third pick, Kevin K Nelly eighty three picked up the Shack one hundred one. And I can recap for you, but if you need me to, I'm just trying to get them all top loaded right quick, so it'd be a little easier to. Shuffled them for y'all. He just answered back. I appreciate it though, JT. And th thanks again, JT, for letting Steve and David know. I came in the room a little late when you were doing that second case. I only had like three boxes left. And I'm surprised more people weren't interested. And again, I'm kind of not because I don't think people really knew what this was going to be. You need to you need to put a lot, little bit more about it, other than just the sell sheet with a few mock-ups. I tried to get us more of this stuff, but I was only allocated the one case. There's the Ryan Sandberg. Jackson's pretty cool. Leaf is where it said he says. Hey, you're good, Brennan. 
No sorries, man. I know it's super late for you over there. You know Trinity I always like so much. All right. Um, David's going to take the Ryan Sandberg. I'm going to see if that one will fit in a 130 right quick or 140 probably. That one was thinner than pretty much anything else. So I put it in a 140 and it fits almost perfect. And I'll still put some tape on the top just to make doubly sure before we put it in the team bag. All right, Brennan's going to be up next and he needs a recap. Everything top load it now and make it quicker. Protect it. Well, I know I was sleeping on this one. You told me I should get it. You know, I like Leaf. It's just... It comes back to just people don't know what it is. People don't understand. Trinity's the only thing they have ever seen me break. I'm doing Trinity Baseball this year too, but I was only able to get one case. And, uh, we were the first ones I ever knew breaking Trinity football. We were doing 20-some cases. And allocation has got us down to the point where now we're lucky to get 8 or 10. Even though we did 20 for years consistently. It's messed up. Let's see. Let me check those off on my list. Alright, Brendan, I got you here, buddy. I'll recap everything. Sorry, this is such a long one, guys, but it was a fun one. Bear with me here. I'm going to recap. I'll recap as many times as you guys need. I'm, you know, hopefully nobody gets too frustrated with the time time it takes here, but make sure everybody gets what they want. 21 of 25, Kobe and Shaq. Pioneers to three, Muhammad Ali, Jack Nicholas, Ted Williams, and Pele. Jim Palmer, Otto to three. Eight Way, Garvey, Kiro, Say, Shosha, Valenzuela, Piazza, Snyder, and Nomo. That one's two nine. Three of nine. Five of five, Reggie Jackson. Two bats, two jerseys, ten of twenty five, signature relics, Jose Canseco. Jack Ham, eleven of twenty, Triumph. Kobe, Julius Irving, LeBron, and Jordan, 25, 23 of 25. Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin, Bob Lilly, Tony Dorsett, Troy Aikman, Ed Tutal Jones, Bob Hayes, Drew Pearson. That one is 12 of 15. Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison, 17 of 25. Carlton Fisk, George Scott, Pedro Martinez, Johnny Damon, Jim Rice, David Ortiz, Roger Clemens, and Dustin Peoria. 11 of 25. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Magic Johnson, 17 of 25. I think that's the one you're speaking on, Brendan. Kareem and Magic. Ricky Henderson, Emmett Smith, John Stockton, Martin Broder. That one is 3 of 3. Have another Pioneers, Archie, Arthur Ashe, Willie Mays. Willie O'Ree and Jim Brown, 3 of 20. Jason Kidd, Tim Hardaway, and John Stockton, the 4. Alright, I will, buddy. Thanks again, JT. Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, the 25. Your uh, carriage is about to turn into a pumpkin. I know it's your bedtime. About midnight. 17 of 25. Pete Rose, 3 color auto. Patch auto. One of one, Ivan Rodriguez, Carlton Fist, Thurman Munson, Yogi Berra, Mike Piazza, and Johnny Bench. Cal Ripken, 5 of 12, Triumph Auto. Jack Nicholas, 12 of 20. Shirt relic there. Mickey Mantle, Gordy Howe, Joe Namath, and Arnold Palmer, 5 of 5. Pioneers. Tom Brady and Randy Moss, 4 of 25, Ultimate Sports Combos. Three of nine, Auto Memorabilia of uh, Troy Aikman. Oh, 
don't like Dave said over on YouTube. I forget sometimes you guys over here on Breakers don't see those. He said this stuff is deep. <laughs> it sure is. Because I'll be honest with you, this might be the hardest draft we've ever had. One of two, Scotty Pippen. There's the Guerrero, Delgado, and um, uh, Palmero, two of five. And Mike Tyson, five of five. And once again, I'll point out these are a little loose. This is the closest thing that Ultra Pro that we're sponsored by breaks. I mean, uh, makes. So we'll make sure and put some added security on them with some painter's tape before we slide them in the team bags and braided card sleeves. All right. Brennan's going to take the Tyson. Man, Brennan, thanks so much for staying up with us and helping make this happen, man. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Everybody tell a friend or 20. Get some more people involved. Hopefully you can start filling these things and it's going live and breaking. I tried my best to do that for us tonight. I'm going to call out the M49 shift one more time. Just kind of hoping JT is going to help me out with his draft. Now, this has been a fun one. You're right, David. There's a ton of great memorabilia in this. M49 shift. Are you here? If not, then we'll be drafting for him. I'm going to message him one more time. Just to let him know that he's up. I wish I remembered after we finished breaking the message in. Oh, he was out and about with the family having dinner and such. Oh, there it is right there. He's watching Pele Relic Jordan Relic. Two different cards. The Pele. Actually, that's not it. What's in the other stack? I'm kind of trying to put these where I remember where they were as we. There's the one with the Pele. This one's got Ali, Nicholas, Williams, and Pele to three. And then the Jordan. Was a quad with LeBron, Julius Irvin, and Kobe. To 25. He's asking my opinion here. And I'll just say this since it's his pick. I honestly have no idea which one's worth more. But I personally really like the quad with Ali and Pele, Ted Williams. I don't want to uh, I don't want to influence the draft, but as cards are drafted, I'm going to point out a couple that I just absolutely love. There's one of these cards that I might end up trying to buy one like, unless one of you guys want to sell it when you draft it. <laughs> Brennan says he was going to pick the Pele. That's a great card. I mean, you got to love anything with Jordan on it, too. So those are pretty tight. This one is the 25. But you know, basketball market is crazy. Try not to be too influential, but, I mean, tell you what I know. I honestly don't sell stuff on eBay anymore to even know values like that. But as far as personal, like, I'd like to keep. You know, give my opinion. Uh, there's one more in here that I, I'm going to try probably to <laughs> buy something like it. Just for my collection. Been looking for one for a while, actually. It was a, a different player, but similar. Let's see. Mark's trying to decide on his first pick. Oh, I'm sitting here tripping. Mark's saying he'll take both. Because he's got six pick. I'm slipping. Nobody else even noticed. I don't think either. He's going to take those two. I apologize, Mark. So now Brennan's back up. 
I'll be all right, guys. It's been a long three months. I'm out of the... Yeah, everything in this is game used. I was actually looking at every single one just to make sure out of curiosity myself. I thought they had marketed it as everything game used. And every single one was. There's the Pippin to two. I'm holding this up by not thinking straight. Here. What's up, Whitewell? What's going on, buddy? I'll show you that one here. It's actually... I always put the cards in the top layer this way. That's kind of upside down from the back. But Alright, Brendan's going to take the Scotty Pippen one of two. Next up is Nighthawk. Mr. Steve. After Steve, Kevin's back up. K Nelly 83. Let me know, Steve, if I need to run back to them for you. It's no problem. Let's see. Steve, you with me, buddy? SP NASCAR. I know it's getting late, guys, for some of us. It's a snake. It's a snake draft, David. So you'll be back up on pick. Uh, I'm slipping. Nighthawk is up. I apologize. I'm over here jotting everything down. Let's see. Yeah, you're on now. My bad. <laughs> I got you, Mark. I was confused about your text. I'm over here jotting everything down and get our draft order right. Let's see. David's taking the kid and stocked in disgustingness. Sorry, David. Use my absent mind here. I was getting our draft order down so it'd be a no-brainer for the rest of it here. Yeah, I got you, David. Kid Stockton Hardaway to four. Going to Nighthawk. Mr. David. I got you, buddy. 
Nelly 83 Your pick, buddy. And then G.I. Budman. K Nelly 83, G.I. Budman, and an SP NASCAR for two. And we'll go back the other way again. That's what I was over here doing, guys. I was jotting down the all 30 draft orders here so I wouldn't have to keep on going back and forth with it. Now I just got you and Dave, Dave and Steve, SP NASCAR and Nighthawk. I just got y'all confused for a second by first name. That's all it was. I was sitting here jotting down the draft order. It's Kevin's pick and then G.I. Budman. Kevin says run through them again. We got the 101, Munson Fist, Rodriguez Bench, Piazza Barra. To 20, Jack Nicholas. To 25, Pete Rose. Eight-way, Fist, Scott, Martin, Damon, Rice, Ortiz, Clemens, excuse me, Pedroia, 25. Peyton and Marvin Harrison, the 25. Emmett, Irving, Lilly, Dorsett, Aikman, Ed Tutal, Jones, Bob Hayes, and Drew Pearson, the 15. Steve Garvey, Eric Karos, Ron Say, I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right, I'm not familiar with him. Mike Soska, uh, Valmores, Piazza, Snyder, and no, that one is to nine. The Dodgers card, let me just say that. <laughs> to three, Jim Palmer, Hal Namath, Mantle, Palmer, to five. Brady and Moss to 25. Kyle Ripken, the 12, Triumph. Troy Aikman, Michael Irving, 25. Pioneers to 20, Arthur Ashe, Willie Mays, Willie O'Ree, and Jim Brown. Quad, Henderson, Smith, Stockton, Broder. This card reminds me of the Panini Black. When that stuff first came out, those cards were pretty high for the game-worn Football quads. That one's the three. 17 to 25, Kareem Abdul Jabbar and Magic Johnson. Guerrero, Delgado, and Palmero. That one is to five. The Aikman to nine. Hand to 20. Canseco to 25. Reggie Jackson to five. And Kobe and Shaq to 25. Hey, you guys. They've been around for a while, you know. I don't, <laughs> I don't flip a lot of stuff. I do more now than I used to, but I know you know some of you guys are looking for value on eBay to recoup. But it's pure collector-wise, man. A lot of this stuff would be hard to let go of. Yeah, Dave, you caught me. I just looked back up at the YouTube chat. I totally got y'all mixed up for a second as I was writing. Let's see, the 101, that was on the bottom here. All right, Kevin is going to take the Munson, Barra, Fisk, Piazza, Rodriguez, Johnny Bench, 101. So Kevin ended up with two 101s at the three slot. Pretty good there. And Steve, G.I. Budman, you're up next. And then SP NASCAR. Steve for two picks. Well, I said I wasn't going to say it till we got to it because I didn't want to influence the draft. You always want to stay unbiased unless you're drafting for somebody or somebody asks you an opinion privately. But this is the card I was talking about. If I'd hit this, I don't think I could ever sell it. That is super cool right there. Really like that one, Steve. If you end up selling it, let me know if you throw it up on eBay. I might be in on that one. <laughs> I love that the mantle has the pinstripe on it. Let's see... Steve's ready. Henderson, Emmett, Stockton, Burr. That is a very cool looking car. I just spoke on it. The black background looks really cool. And the Brady and Moss. Got you, buddy. Thanks again, Steve and David. 
I'm a little little out of practice here and out of action for for months. I've been I've got a chronic headache condition on top of gastroparesis stomach problem I've had since I was 18, and my migraines have gotten really really bad here the last couple of months. So if I seem a little discombobulated, I'm going to at least blame it partially on that. <laughs> it may not be 100% the whole reason. Just a little out of practice here. It's been quite a while since we've done a draft. We usually do pick your team breaks in here. Trying to switch it up and do a little different breaks coming up. GI Budman, you're back up. And then Kevin. We're just reversing around again. GI Budman and then K Nelly 83. And then uh, Nighthawk Dave will be back up. I've seen both of you guys quite a bit over in JT's room. I watch sometimes and never sign in from my phone. And, and you know, you'll know, probably see me in there some too. It's been a while since I bought anything, but. That's my best friend in the breaking community as far as another breaker. We talk on the phone about every day or every other day. I always try to help each other out what we can. Couldn't ask for a better friend. He's a good dude. Wish we lived closer. Y'all see us in action together. <laughs> we're about four hours apart even though we're back you know, states right next to each other. Steve, if I need to go through them again, let me know. It's G.I. Budman and then K. Nelly 83. I thought this was a super way, super cool way to do it, but I didn't know if we uh, have enough people to do 350 a spot. I don't have a lot of big spenders on a regular basis. But, uh, I think now that people have seen this, we could fill a lot more over if we could just get more in stock. That's the battle these days, is even getting anything to break. I got you, Steve. To five, Reggie Jackson. To three, Jim Palmer. We got the Dodgers eight way. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> Go through the names again. To nine. Uh, we've got the Cowboys eight way to 15. We have the Peyton and Marvin Harrison to 25. We have the Red Sox to 25 eight way. Pete Rose to 25. Jack Nicholas to 20. Kobe and Shaq to 25. Jose Canseco to 25. Jack Ham to 20. Troy Aikman to 9. This is kind of an odd number there. He's number 8. Uh, Guerrero, Delgada, and Palmero to five. Those cards are really cool looking with the patches like that. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Magic Johnson to 25. I like these Pioneers too. Three of 20. Arthur Ashe, Willie Mays, Willie O'Ree, and Jim Brown. I've been looking for a Babe Ruth with a pinstripe that I could snatch at an affordable price for years. That's why I like that mantle so much too. 22 of 25, Troy Aikman and Michael Irving, and to 12, Cal Ripken, Triumph. There's still a ton of nice stuff there. Almost halfway through, Steve and Kevin's picks will put us exactly halfway. Alright, Steve's going to go for the Aikman. Kevin, you're up next. Aikman to my boy G.I. Budman here, Mr. Steve. Reggie to five. All right, after Kevin is Steve Nighthawk back up. Where did I have the Reggie to five? There it is. And Kevin, you got two one on ones and a to five already. Crazy. 
at the third pick. I totally agree, David. This is a fun one, man. There's, to me, you know, so many guys are concerned about how much can I sell this on eBay, and I totally get that to recoup and keep playing the game. But I'm, I'm a card hoarder anyway. Like I said, I'm better in it than I used to be. But, man, this is one of those breaks where I would want to keep probably, if I was y'all and I had five picks, I'd probably have to keep at least two of these. <laughs> They're just so super cool. And it is such a deep product, like you were saying. So we got Nighthawk, Steve, and then we got Zoltono. I see we lost uh, Nighthawk over here. Nighthawk, you still with us on YouTube or something, buddy? And Mark... I'm not sure how, how good a video or anything you had earlier. I was forgetting that you were the first spot to reverse. So you got both those nice cards you're asking about. I really like this one too with Ali and Pele on. Uh, super cool. Anything with Jordan on it, obviously. I mean, that's a cool card too. I'm forgetting again that Nighthawks, David. <laughs> Keep on getting y'all too mixed up for some reason. The triple patch with Guerrero. I, I think about that. This is going the first pick of the second half of the case. This is going pick 16. That's crazy to five. David Nighthawk. The nice Rhino 101 and two of those triples. Those are super cool looking guards, David. Now we got Brennan Zoltano. I'll be all right, Dave. <laughs> I'll be all right one of these days. Think about it like this. I'm better this week than I have been in almost two and a half months. So, phew, it would have been really tough to run one of these couple, you know, a month ago or something. It have been impossible. A Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao. I'm pretty sure JT had a Mayweather one of one auto in his today. I'm pretty sure that's what I heard when I saw those last three boxes. Ah, Kareem. I believe that was in the stack, yeah. So 17 of 25, Kareem and Magic going to Brennan. Mark, that puts you back up for back to back picks, buddy. Do it reverses again. M49 shift mark for two picks, and then Zoltano Brennan will reverse it again. <laughs> I'm just happy for some semblance of normalcy again, Kevin. Honestly, I've been doing everything I can, man. I've been going and having acupuncture and had dry needling, physical therapy. Just anything. I mean, for a while there, I couldn't even... It was like I couldn't find my words. Like, I was stumbling over my words and stuff. It was. They say that when you have migraines for that period of time, like I had them for two and a half weeks straight, and when you have them that bad for that long, it's kind of like having many strokes. Like, I don't think I really talked to anybody there for about a month. It's coming around. I'm still not totally myself. I don't know if I, if I will be, but still having a daily headache. It's just not migraines, thank goodness. Arthur Ashe, Willie Mays, Willie O'Ree, and Jim Brown to 20 to Mark. And he wants me to run through the rest. Of course, buddy, I got you. Thanks again, Mark, for jumping in. I'm glad you made it for your, for your first picks there, too. 12 of 20, Jack Nicholas. To 25, Pete Rose. Eight way for the Red Sox to 25. Harrison and Manning to 25. 
eight way for the Cowboys to 15. We had the Dodgers eight way to nine. Jim Palmer to three. To 12, Cal Ripken. Troy Aikman and Michael Irvin to 25. Kobe and Shaq to 25. Seiko to 25 and Jack Ham to 20. I have some Steelers jerseys I need to sell if anybody's interested in Leaf jerseys, by the way. Made me think about it because of Jack Ham. I, uh, still a Steelers fan, but before the Panthers existed, that was my team back in the day. I have a Jack Ham, a, uh, Le'Veon Bell, which I'm sure nobody's gonna want now, and a Rod Woodson in the Leaf jersey. Anybody's in there? Let me think about it. I think we've talked about them before, Steve. I mean, they're pretty cheap. I think the I think they're I don't know 60, 80 bucks a piece or something like that. It's been a while since I looked them up, but yeah, I give you a going rate if you want them. They're a little cheaper. I'm gonna finally let. I'm starting to let some more stuff go since the doctor bills have racked up. I'm trying to let go of more stuff. I gotta. Figure out an outlet for a bunch of my cheapy stuff that's not really eBay material. Jack Nicholas, Mark says. Jack Nicholas to 20 going to M49 shift. All right, Brennan, you're back up, buddy. And then uh, Nighthawk, David. I'll get it right before we're done in the draft and quit thinking Nighthawk, Steve, for some reason. That over the years, you know, uh, about a month ago, actually almost to the day, about a month ago made, uh, let me get it right now in my head, made six years we've been breaking. One of the first things that I try to do is try to remember every screen name and remember their first name at least. And I've done pretty well with it over the years, but I don't know how well that's going to upkeep from here <laughs> for a while at least. Hopefully it'll come back around. I'm having a tough time. With that sort of stuff, just retaining information, period. All right, I got you, Steve. It's it's the Leaf jerseys like that came out of the uh, ones we used to do all the time. They're all black. I can tell you that on those three. I have a Hans Ward that's got the Super Bowl patches and everything. Oh, I'm not ready to let that one go yet. Though that one's probably a two or three hundred dollar jersey. Got a couple inscriptions on it. Yeah, I was surprised. Uh, when SP NASCAR's name popped in the room that he wasn't mod it, I was, you know, it kind of lets me know too if it's been a while if you've been in the room because after so long the mods drop off too. You're probably still mod it since you jumped in contender, so. I sure wish we could get the amount of contenders we used to. Anyways, I'm rambling. Y'all probably ready to get this wrapped up, huh? I appreciate everybody once again, man. I had a good time with this one. Hope y'all did. See, Brennan says the eight way cowboy. There we go. I got you, buddy. 12 of 15 on that one. Let's see. David, you're back up, buddy. Give me a run through and just let me know. Now we're going to Zoltano. That one's headed overseas. I always get a kick out of Brennan and Maria gets in the breaks. Headed stuff international, son. Headed out of the country. Miss Maria never did her response. Hopefully she won't be upset that I gave up her spot in this one. No, she says if she didn't get in this one, she'd probably get an elite, so it'll probably be a good sign. Maybe she'll kick off elite for us. I'm in no hurry at all, David. Take your time, man. I can recap if you need. Like, I am in no big rush, man.
Um, just because money wise guys I'm gonna send everybody's in a uh, small priority box just protect them a little more instead of send them in bubble mailers we'll go ahead and do small priority on everything I'm gonna go ahead and make sure they go out tomorrow I may just set my alarm a little earlier still staying up late but I'll get y'all stuff on out in the mail tomorrow so uh, probably everybody will get them Tuesday there may be a straggler that comes in Wednesday possibly well except for Brennan's will take a little longer going overseas but. Still some pretty nice stuff here. I'm surprised a couple of them have hung out this long in a way. There you go, Dave. Dave says he's going to take Kobe and Shaq. That's one of the ones I was thinking to myself just now. Surprised it hung out that long. All right, Kevin, you're back up, buddy. And then G.I. Budman, Steve. And then SP NASCAR Steve has two picks in a row to finish his draft up. So Kevin, G.I. Budman, Steve, and then SP NASCAR Steve for two. And then G.I. Budman again to finish his uh, draft up. Rick in the 12, Conseco to 25. Ham to 20. Pete Rose to 25. We used to do drafts on flawless football a lot, and I just panned the camera over. I thought I might have easier to flip through them. Easier to see them. Red Sox of 25. Somehow I knew you were going to say that, Kevin. I'd already start it before you even typed that out. Peyton Harrison to 25. Jim Palmer to 3. Or 4, it showed up on my end anyway. Dodgers to 9, and Aikman and Irvin to 25. Notice a couple of edges and corners are a little out of whack. That's not surprising for a thicker stop. The back of the Ripken, the top left corner is a little dinged. And then the one, the right edge of this quad for the Dodgers is a little. That was pretty hard to see, but a little something going on there. Aikman and Irving. Another nice one there still left. Kevin's going to take the Aikman and Irving to 25. Alright, Steve, brother. My fellow Steelers fan. I know I'm a big Panthers fan, but once upon a time. You're up next and SP NASCAR for two. Dave, I sure will. I'll pick just how I would, man. Thank you so much for hanging in there with us. I know this has been a long break. Thank you so much, you and SB NASCAR, Steve, for coming over and helping fill this thing. I'll thank JT another five times, I'm sure. All right. G.I. Budman Steve is going to take the Jim Palmer 2-3. SP NASCAR for two, and then GI Budman for his last pick. Ripken Auto. One of my first cousins graduated in the same high school class as Cal Ripken. She knew I was a big baseball fan when I was a kid and collector. She used to tell me about hanging out with him all the time. We went to family reunions. Pete Rose to 25. 
All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. There you go, buddy. Let's be headed your way here. Appreciate it so much, man. Tell a friend or 20. You get more people here involved in the breaks. I'm going to try to do more where it's less spots instead of just doing pick your team all the time. All right, G.I. Budman, Steve, and then Kevin. That'll be y'all's last two picks. And then Nighthawk, Carter tonight. So he's going to have me pick for him. And then Zoltono and uh, Mark will get the very last card. The Dodger card for G.I. Budman. Just to nine. All right. So yours and SP NASCAR are good to go. Kevin's going to take the Red Sox card, which is to 25. It's so hard to do drafts. This has always been my favorite way to break personally, but it's so hard to get y'all to to respond and pay and then get you to show up at the same time to draft is almost entirely impossible. So I told him I'd draft like I was going to draft for him. So if I was Nighthawk, I think me personally, I would take one of these two. I don't know who Dave's a fan of other than him being a Cowboys fan. So I'm going to assume that he's probably not a Steelers fan if he's a Cowboys fan. Um... If it were me, I'd probably take the ham just from being a Steelers fan. I'm going to give him the Conseco. That's how I would go. Since I know he's not a Steelers fan. So, Brennan, you got your choice from the other two, and Mark will get the one that's left. Not a bad pick for the 30th pick of the case, huh? Either way. Thanks, Kevin. Let's see, you, buddy. Jack Ham to 20, Otto, or Peyton Manning, Marvin Harrison to 25. So the Jack Ham goes last to Mark. Brennan takes the Peyton and the Harris. Harrison. Well, that's it. That's a long one. I am going to post that up on YouTube. It'll take quite a while to upload. I'll go ahead and get it up. Here shortly I will be back with elite Wednesday unless we get no action going forward for at least the next little while maybe the next long while if we don't get some stuff filling while I'm offline if we don't get some kind of traction I will be flipping cases like I have been the last few months um, so if you want to see some breaks go ahead and jump in on the front end I really see no reason for us to all get online and set and for hours at a time to fill breaks. And if you're interested, just go ahead and grab those spots. I'll do my best to promote it best I can all different avenues and get them filled up for us. Uh, if you're interested in some different style breaks and I'm on and let me know and we'll see if we can stir up enough interest and get them going that way. Right. Um, add a friend or 10 if you know anybody interested. I greatly appreciate everybody. I see Brennan calling tonight. I believe he was the last one with me. Over on Breakers, I'm going to assume same on YouTube. It looks like we got four watchers on YouTube. What's up, YouTubers? I appreciate everybody checking us out. Ozlanders break, son. He gone.